Hello, welcome back. So now we've completed uh, modeling all these parts. So now we're just going to combine them in the assembly. So I'm going to start a new assembly file and change my unit for that assembly to, well, it wouldn't let me change my unit until I had something. So browse to where you saved your, your part file. And because I was working on this earlier, so I have it saved on this folder. So I'm just going to bring in this part one, the block cast as cast iron and click open and it, don't click on the screen to put it anywhere. So just the first part you bring in is going to be fully defined. You want to click this check mark to make sure that part is fully defined. So you have it there and I have appearance add to mice already. So if you want to add appearance to it, you can come to the appearance tab and metal steel select what type of steel you want and drag it and when you drag it up to you, you have all this option you want to make sure you select just the part itself not the assembly but the part so just to add it to just the part so we have the first part in i'm just going to um, now change my units to uh, millimeter click ok and i'm going to bring in the second part uh, let me show that and the second part so browse um, the second part is that um, handle so I'm just gonna bring that in put that somewhere over there and the third part I'm going to bring in the screw um, where is it the screw over here and I'm just going to put it over there so now I'm just going to constrain this too. So this and that. So the way I make my stuff together is I always click the face and I'm holding the control key and just click make to hold it. But however you want to make it is up to you. Some people like having the option and you can select the two faces. It's still the same thing. So I'm going to select this face and that face. I'm going to be going. Uh, concentric to each other and so now these two part are made together so we're going to um, you see how this part doesn't have any circular um, place to mate it to well I guess we can make we can select this face and this face and make because this is also a circular part so when you select mate it's still going to recognize it as concentric so you can do that um, and click OK. So now we have that done. So you want something like that. Good. So now let's bring in the pin, um, the bushing. So we have one, two, three, the bushing. Let's bring in the bushing and open. I'm just going to put that over there. And I'm going to again click those two face, mate, and I'm going to click this face and this face and make that together. And now once I have that, I'm just going to, instead of bringing in the other bushing, another thing you can do is uh, find your right, your front plane, which is the midpoint of this two part, this part. And you can come down to uh, this lin linear component pattern and select mirror components. You already have the front plane selected and you can just select this uh, bushing over there and click OK. So it's going to mirror it to the other side. So that I'm just using that opportunity to show you how to mirror something. So good, we have that. The last thing we need to bring in is the pin. So uh, browse, bring in the pin. And they are going to select the face and that face mate. Uh, concentric and I'm just going to uh, move that out a little bit um, move this out a little bit so we need to um, so clicking this handle I'm going to use the right plane of that handle to section it so I see the inside and now I can select this edge and that face 
and let me try the mate to see if it would work no it's not working so um, okay so what we need to do is it should work so I'm going to take this and I know this is kind of tedious a little bit so um, just take this and drag it somewhere in here close to that part so once you have it in there click this face and click that face and mate so it should give you the tangent and that's what you want and just click OK and I'm going to unsection it so because you want it to you want you don't want this to move out this needs to move with that so we have all our parts in the only thing we need to do now is let's add a screw mate to this part so that way when this screw this should screw with it so I'm going to go to normal two, and I'm just going to section this by the right plane so um, by the right plane and click OK so what how I always had the screw mate is I'm going to align this at first so I'm just going to drag this up let me go number two so you see what's going on so I'm gonna drag this up and kind of align it in there and once I have it aligned then I go to my mate uh, mechanical screw and this for this um, project we're working on this number is going to be 0.5 so put 0.5 in there and now we are going to uh, select this face so that's the face for the screw and we're going to select the face for the for this part so you should have the two face there you see the screw and the block cast iron and once you have it select this number changed so I'm going to change it back to 0.5 so it should be 0.5 and click OK so now watch if I turn this so now we have the screw made and that's what you want and anytime you screw it you also want to make sure that the screw stays in in the pot so when you're screwing it you you're not getting any interference so good the next thing we need to do and the last thing is select this face and select this um, face and come to your mate and you want to come down to advance and limit and this should be zero and that is fine where it is so this you want to make sure this is zero and that's fine where it is and click OK so now and click OK again so now when I screw this all the way down once I get to that face it would stop so you don't have the part going into the part so you don't have the interference so it stops once you touch that face and you can screw it back out so anyway that's how you design this part um, I enjoy working on this it's pretty cool I like it so anyway thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment and I will try to answer all your questions thank you and have a nice day bye